I'm Chris Edwards with Tennis Warehouse, and we've got nothing but rackets on today's vlog, my favorite subject. So let's jump straight in. First up, we've got the new Phantoms from Prince, and really nice update on these. Don't adjust your monitor. If it's tough to see, they're camouflaged. So uh, nice camo paint job on the rackets, but the playability, um, if you've used the Phantoms before or you haven't, super plush, responsive feel from the rackets, tons and tons of control. And a, and a lot of comfort from these frames as well. These ones playing, a little, testing with our crew a little bit more stable than the outgoing versions. And we've just been really enjoying the playability of these. So first up, I've got the 290 gram version in my hand. And because these rackets are playing nice and solid, you can drop down a little bit and wait, get a bit more maneuverability, a bit more swing speed. Uh, it's gonna open up some access to some spin without sacrificing too much in stability. So it's a great way to go. Um, I think this is a dynamite racket for the intermediate on up player. Uh, definitely looking for a lot of control, a lot of feel on the ball. And if you're a stronger player, this is a great platform racket. You can add weight, tailor it to your needs, put a leather grip on, put some head weight on, and really dial in that swing weight, weight balance to your personal spec. And we're only 290 grams, you've got plenty of room to do that. Let's jump in next up, we've got uh, going up slightly in weight, this is the 305 gram version. So again, same great playability, ton of feel and control on the ball, but a little bit more mass. So you're going to get even more stability, a little bit more plow through power on your ground strokes and serves from that one. And then if you like that denser, firmer feeling string bed, we also have it in um, an 18, 20 uh, version, and this is 320 grams. So uh, nice and beefy on this one, lots of plow through power. Um, firmer feel from the denser string bed, so just more strings on the ball, a lot of control, great depth control from the 1820 on this one. Um, my pick of the litter right there, love that one as well from the regular Phantoms. And then jumping into the more squared off beam designs of the Phantoms, this is the 100P. So this one's got a lot of control, again, a lot of feel on the ball. Definitely a racket if you like to supply your own power and really take big cuts, this is gonna give you the control needed. Nice open string pattern, so it's gonna give you uh, plenty of room to grip it and rip it, um, get good rotation on the ball, keep those powerful strokes inside the courts because you're gonna get tons of access to spin. And again, just lots of feel, touch volleys, stuff like that, angles, drop shots, lots of feel out of that one. And then last but certainly not least, I think the most fun of all of them is the Phantom 107G. This one, because it's 107 square inches and a skinny beam, you get, and it's a light and fast racket, you get the massive spin window from the thin beam and big head size. You've got access to racket head speed because it's very, very fast feeling racket. And I found this one got me in trouble because I was trying to be too creative with it all the time. I was just trying to go for maximum spin, maximum angle, trying to get my drop shots to drop even quicker. Um, I had way too much fun out on the court with this one. So a great playability racket. I think it's a dynamite doubles racket for uh, the slicer and dice. So if someone really likes to mix up pace and spin, it's a great way to go. All right, so look at some vintage now. First up, we've got um, a really nice, mostly black Yonex RQ190 wide body. This one has been customized for pro use. So it's got um, a copious amount of lead tape um, in the hoop of this racket. It's got a custom handle with um, a uh, nice T-dub leather grip on it right there. Great playable racket, beautiful looking racket, and then a nice one to get out on the court as well. Uh, another great Yonex racket that's also had the pro player weight treatment. This is an R23. Again, copious amounts of lead at three and nine on this one. It's got that beautiful Bosworth layering system to the lead tape. Um, they did a great job on that. And uh, this one is beefy. It's got a massive swing weight to it. And then last but not least, we've got a head graphite master. And this is slightly bigger than 100 square inches. So again, uh, easy access to spin for this one. would be a really fun racket to uh, get out and play. So not just hang on the wall, but um, I would definitely string this one up. I'd put the old school head stencil on it, um, and then I would get it out there and then hit it as well. So uh, a fun, very comfortable racket to get out and play with, and a great collectible to have hanging on your collection. All right, that's all I've got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.